Hello again, everybody. Harry Box with the Technical Trader at thetechtrader.com. Tuesday, the 28th of December, 2022. These are the charts of the day. I'm going to show you some longs and shorts today. The market had a really rough session again, and it started out this year, which is supposed to be a bullish time of year, with a very negative posture down two days in a row. But there are some stocks on the upside that had big days. Kala, with some FDA news today, exploded from a close of about 392. Got all the way up to 1748. Trading 1330 after hours, it's up about nine and a half. It's up 240% on 51 million now. Normally, I normally I don't feature these kind of stocks, but I do want to point out that one big day like this could trigger a massive movement. <clears throat> if you see the overall pattern, you see that the stock was um, in a big downtrend and broke out that went a big way today. So it might be get some follow through your next target. 21 and a half, and then up in this zone, they're at 26. KOLD with you know, net gas coming down sharply has run dramatically for now two weeks. Uh, 12.65 to today's high, 26.92. That's a double in just a couple of weeks. So, and it is that resistance, so I may need to pull back, but if it does extend, my target is 32. TDSB, one of my top 20 picks for the year. Exploded from 9.11.54, trading 11.49 after hours up 2.28, 25% gain today. Mine was 2.8 million, not heavy, but I think you're going to start to test this zone in the 13-14 uh, zone short term. <clears throat> SMTT with a big day, another pop and breakout, a gain of 80 cents or 20%, 10 million share traded, looking like it's about to pop, take out the 540 range, and we're up to six and a half and seven. TGTX with a big day today. Um, with the multiple sclerosis drug FDA approved went 11688 to 1148 and backed off currently trading down after hours about 873 still up almost a point on a day that kind of a thrust on 31 million shares on big news might get some follow through I'm looking for 12 12 and a half and finally Viking's been phenomenal since it broke out a week and a half ago and you can see the tightness in this channel today jumping another 84 cents or 10 percent I'm targeting 10 and a half now look at some shorts. Tech Trader Swing Short Dino was down two today, at one point lower than that, of course, but about 4%. You can see the bear flag that's forming, and a breakdown from here could lead to low 40s. The STC breaking key support today, a triple bottom and closing below it. I start to see a fall away type mode, and my target's 41. Radar Petroleum, one of my other two, one of the other two. Oil stocks that I went short on <clears throat> is that also forming some sort of bear coil and today dropped 344 or 6.5%. Looks like the targets are 44 and 36. Stride right broke down hard a month and a half ago at a rising flag and then broke down again. You can see it's right on support. Any break here in the stock may be, you know, fall away into the mid 20s. <clears throat> Overstock has been on my short list all year, especially when it formed that wedge in the mid 50s back in March of 2022. Since then, it's dropped down into the 18 range and still looks lower. I'm targeting low teens on this one, 13. PANW, loved by Wall Street and a great looking chart. But boy, is that a rounding top formation breaking through key support today, triple bottom. Um, the gap fill might get you quickly down to about 125, but I think eventually we could be testing 100 to 105. Tandem is in a downtrend and remains in one with a rising bear flag here. Should this break, a retest of the mid 30s and even high 20s might, might be doable. Tech target, that's an ex after a massive top formation broke down, it's from the descending bear coil. This breaks here, and you're going to see 35, maybe 31. Zoom, which has been ugly for you know, since the pandemic, the spike into the 550 range. Now it's trading at 65 and looking like it has to come down into the mid-40s at some point. And finally, Z-Scaler, also with a big rounding top, a breakthrough, a double bottom resistance last week, continues to fall. Your targets on this one are 90 and 85. And let's look at some of the longs and shorts at thetechtrader.com that we like. Good night, everybody.